Earlier I spoke to Jan Egeland, who is the Secretary General of the Norwegian Refugee Council and was recently appointed by the United Nations to coordinate aid deliveries inside Syria. I asked him what he thinks about Europe's response. I don't think Europe is doing enough to help people uh, fleeing to Europe and within Europe. Uh, my own organization, the Norwegian Refugee Council, has uh, sent a lot of experts that is helping the United Nations to do more work within Greece and also in the, in the Balkans. Uh, many of us NGOs are also in place and doing good work. But it should, be, it should be possible for Europe, uh, 35, 40 nations, uh, trillions of dollars of uh, Euros economy, we have half a billion people, we should be able to tackle you know, the influx of one okay. or two but you're in million charge uh, of getting aid so to the Syrian, Europe You're in this. charge of getting the aid to the Syrian refugees and you represent the United Nations. What I'm asking is, what is the United Nations doing about that situation on the border? Uh, the, the, I'm in charge, yes, of, uh, of trying to get into the besieged areas of Syria. The High Commissioner for Refugees is trying to get Europe to do its job within Europe. And there is a high-level meeting now of ministers. Uh, I think the United uh, Nations expect Europe to be cooperating in tackling the European crisis and not uh, closing borders and uh, making problems for each other. What we may end up with here are permanent refugee camps in Greece and elsewhere in Europe, and that would not look good. In a previous interview with TRT World, you talked about a Marshall Plan for Syria, referring to the US plan to rebuild Europe after the Second World War. What kind of money and commitment are you talking about, and where would it come from? Well, I would say that all of the industrialized countries, all of the countries with a, a surplus economy, and there are many, many, uh, Europeans, North Americans, uh, Southeast Asia, China, Russia, should be investing much more in the neighboring countries to Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq and Turkey, so that education is given to all of the children and there is also given job opportunities for Syrian uh, refugees. Then, of course, the big, the big Marshall Plan would be the rebuilding of Syria. But for, to enable that, we need to have some degree of peace, some agreement between uh, the parties. It would be hundreds of billions of dollars that is needed to rebuild Syria, but also to give hope to the four and a half million Syrians in the neighboring countries. I just want to put something to you that Germany's Minister of Economic Cooperation and Development said uh, a couple of months ago. He suggests it's better to support refugees in the region because a dollar goes further there than in Europe. Would you agree with that? Well, indeed, the, the, the way of helping refugees is cl as close as possible to their homes. The best is to help them before they have to flee. Uh, it's better to help them within Syria if it's safe there. But it's not safe in most places of Syria up until now. That's why they've gone to the neighboring countries. The neighboring countries are in general now overwhelmed. So it's not possible for Europe to say, we will send a lot of checks, um, money to, to, to the region. We also have to take refugees to Europe but the best way of doing that is through quotas, so that those with greatest needs are giving priority, and not that people have to risk their life to cross, cross over in a haphazard uh, way. OK, let's talk about one of, about one of the proposals uh, for one of those neighboring countries, the uh, European proposed deal with Turkey, whereby Syrian refugees who enter the European Union in an illegal or irregular way will be sent back to Turkey and in return the EU will take a Syrian refugee who's completed the asylum process. Do you have any reservations about this deal? Well, uh, yes, because I think that the right of seeking asylum is a, a sacred one. So we cannot negotiate our way out of people being able still to seek asylum in Europe. What I, I think is, um, would be correct is that 
Turkey takes back those who are migrants and that have no protection need. I also like the idea that uh, Europe should take more Syrians that are in Turkey and the other neighboring countries to Europe, but I don't like at all that it seems to be more difficult for even Syrians and others to seek asylum in Europe. That is a right uh, for them and we should uphold it.